Now I've got a scary topic for you today. Why you need to visualize your data. Have you ever heard the term dark data? It's an expression that's been going around in the business intelligence industry for a while. And that's exactly what we're going to get into. I'm Jeff, and this is Off the Charts with Jeff. A lot of the dashboards that I've run across by various users of business intelligence systems will look like this. It's a dashboard where it's just data being presented in a table with really no focus and not drawing out any specific insights that I need to be looking at. Story time. This is an example that I ran into in my career here at Dundas years ago and something that really stuck with me in terms of why you do need to visualize your data. So we were working with a company, they were a hospital, and it turned out they were one of the worst performing hospitals around based on their category. So they were in risk of closure, they were in risk of losing their budget, things looked bad. They contacted Dundas and when we got some tools in front of them and actually started looking at their data, someone realized that they were double reporting every mortality statistic. Let that sink in for a minute. You have a company that was reporting their data wrong, they didn't realize it, and they were at risk of going under. It's this dark data that a lot of people are concerned about because you don't necessarily know what's lurking in tables that look like this. Let me give you some great examples other than this of why you need to visualize your data. So let's look at this example here. Notice this table. We have four data sets. Now, there's nothing overly interesting about these. I've got 11 data points in each data set. Take a second to look at this table and think about whether or not there's anything here that specifically jumps out at you as being important. On the right, you can see that we're looking at each one of these data sets statistically. We calculate the mean, all of them are the same. The variance are all the same, the mean of y is all the same, and so on. Statistically, every one of these data sets is exactly the same, meaning we get no information from that. Look what happens when I visualize these four data sets. There is a very clear trend on each one of these, which was completely invisible, at least to me, until I got this into a visualization format. Just imagine what's lurking in your data if you're not looking at it or you're looking at it in a tabular format. It's really important to get these into graphics and really understand what's going on. Now here's a data set that's a lot closer to home for most people. We've all gone to school, so these are students, here's the subjects they're studying, and the grade they're getting. I want you to quickly tell me what's the average mark people are receiving for each major, who are the top and bottom students, and how are our special needs students doing, Amanda, Brendan, and Carrie. Now, this is not something you're going to be able to get at the snap of your fingers. You have to take time to analyze this data. Putting this into a dashboard is going to just give you the answers that you need to see. Now this is kind of an argument that I have with a lot of users sometimes when they try to just put nothing but data tables all over their dashboard. If you don't know what your users need to see, you're typically going to lean towards giving them everything, give them all the raw data. But if you've taken the time and you've interviewed the people who are going to be receiving this dashboard, they have a job. Their job is in a box and there are a set of standard questions that they typically need to ask. And those questions can be answered visually on a dashboard very quickly. As you can see, a good dashboard is just going to answer questions and bring insights to the table immediately rather than forcing users to plow through data and figure out what is important to them. Now hopefully these examples have given you some ideas in terms of why you need to visualize your data. You have no idea what's lurking in there. So do get onto a platform like Dundas BI and start digging. You may find something that absolutely revolutionizes your business. Now if you want to learn more, there's some fantastic case studies on Dundas.com. One of my favorite is NHS, who using Dundas BI has for the first time been able to present clear interactive reports to their organization. So well worth the read. Thanks for watching, and as always, we'd love to hear from you. Ask Jeff at Dundas.com, and thank you.